Hi everybody. Uh, dropping a really short video on today. If you can hear me over the noise of the rather loud teenage music in the background. I, I just want to share the experiences that I've just had with some energy healing with uh, one of my physically furthest away clients. <laughs> and that's why I want to share because it can feel for me like people think that it's really easy to to share experiences and have a sense of somebody's energy and somebody's needs and requirements when they're physically in the room or close by or you know them well like you know uh, a lot of my previous clients i have known very well or i've known them if not very well i've, I've known them for a period of time and i think what i feel is particularly special and unique about this client is i she is not a she's not like a friend that I know physically. She was originally somebody that I just knew from an online group that I'm in. I'd like to consider us gaining friendship because we've been, um, I've been doing healing sessions for her for quite a while now. And it's nice that to gain that sort of connection with people. However, she's not even in the same country as me. She is uh, a, a good, few thousand kilometers away i think um so yes she's in the co on the continent of europe whilst i'm in the uk and um yeah each time i do a healing session for her i'm a little bit more blown away by my experience when i relate it and her experience when she's come back to me and um experiences that i've had that i've felt like this is very weird for me this is not like this is not this is not normal this is not the sort of normal experience i get when i'm doing a healing session and when i've relayed the experience to her in the in the little recorded messages that i send after distance healing sessions she has been like it, that's that that was how I felt or that was what happened or that's where I was feeling things and every single session that we've done together this has been the experience and this is I, I felt really called to record something about this because first of all because she's not somebody that I I've ever physically met Um, she's not even in, like I said, the same country, never mind the same room. Um, and each experience is more profound and powerful. And it's enabling me to trust my intuition more. It's enabling me to trust my skills more as an energy healer. And it's given me a lot of beautiful feedback that I can share with people and she shares her experiences with people and that in itself is how these things expand and grow and I really felt like this is an experience to share wider to share how nurtured and safe people feel after they've had a session to share that this this you can't make this stuff up like there's there's definitely an element of i feel like this particular client she is open to receiving the healing she is aware of it she's we're like on similar paths in that i I know her from an online community that I'm part of. Um, we both are intuitives. We both are very familiar with human design. There's 
that level of trust in the energies and the energy field and the quantum field and the astral plane that is that is with both of us because there has to be a, an aspect of that that's part of an energy healing session the, the most powerful experiences i have are always with people who trust the process um and I have done I've done healing sessions with people who've never had Reiki before or maybe are a little bit not as open to the power of energy healing. Uh and they always still feel totally held, nurtured, uh safe and they feel something. They're the kind of people that don't often come back again because it's 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 just a like a warm feeling of of that and if there if there's no profound experience that sometimes people don't don't like don't see it as see the value in it um whereas the energy healers or the other like-minded people that I do healing sessions for always come back they always feel like they've had some sort of very very connected healing session I did a healing session for a friend when she broke a collarbone and that was like really really powerful for her because she had a healing experience from the broken collarbone that was not what she was really expecting given what the medical professional said around like how long it would take and how much pain she'd be in and I did an emergency healing session for her while she was at the hospital and after that she was like uh, the the levels of pain that she had she still had pain it's a broken bone it hurts um but they were a lot less than she had been led to believe by the hospital and that a lot of that, when we talked about it, we felt like it, it. Part of it was down to her own trust in the energy healing she'd received from me, and the trust in her body to be doing its thing. And I think that's like that is that's definitely a part of it. When you're receiving energy healing, there's an element of trusting in the process or knowing for yourself, because it's something that you already do, that there's something happening. Because it's very, <laughs> it is a challenge and there's no physical evidence of like something that you can physically see that there's something happening. And yet there can be then physical evidence. So my friend with the, the broken collarbone like she had the physical evidence for herself that she wasn't suffering the levels of pain that 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 a broken bone usually causes and uh, obviously she had the evidence of the broken bone from the x-ray <coughs> so she knew it was broken uh the energy healing sped up the journey as well as her using like more natural protocols for supporting the physical healing as well so yeah don't underestimate the power of energy healing when i do energy healing it's a powerful experience for you it i veer away from just referring to it as Reiki because I've learned a lot of skills, I've intuited a lot of skills, I've been held by a number of different teachers through my journey into energy healing and looked at several different energy healing paths. So I have done shamanic practitioner um, learning. I have worked with a shamanic practitioner for myself so I've been in the field of a shamanic practitioner to learn the experience and to learn self-healing from her I have done Reiki obviously in different types of Reiki because there's different labels names that are given to it which just can get really really confusing uh, but I have done uh, twice experienced the what what we'd call original Reiki teachings of of Usui, who was the Japanese man 
um, in the last century, I think. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm bad with my centuries. <laughs> I think it was the 20th century. It was either the end of the 19th century or the early 20th century where he um, gained that wisdom to bring energy healing into the modern time frame. And then I've done second, I've done psychic surgery, I've learned a lot of different tools and techniques, all of which, all of which have taught me to trust my intuition. When I teach energy healing, I'm not teaching people like a vanilla way of doing Reiki, for example. I'm teaching energy healing. I'm teaching to trust one's own intuition and one's own power to connect into life source energy, something that is totally open and available to every single individual, every single human being and every single living creature on the planet, living creature, living living every every six every single rock, every single tree, every single stone, every single grain of sand source energy is available to all of it i've watched animals be profound healers as well i've watched cats and dogs specifically because they tend to be what keep as pets be as healing as a human in how they be with a person with an individual who's who's in need of receiving some sort of life force energy to support them so yeah, each different tool I have experienced or learned or been uh, attuned to has opened up my own intuition to knowing how that is possible. And that's my guidance when I guide people, when I'm teaching people, is to open them up, which is all that energy healing does in the first place, is opens up the, the, the individual who's in front of me, it opens up their energy channels to be able to allow the energy to flow through their physical being so that they're allow, able to process that energy through the energy body, the subtle body, the physical body, all of it can, can have that flow. So that is, that's, that's the whole, the whole experience of energy healing for me. It's so nurturing and it, it holds you and it makes you feel like a, a, a kind, a kind of sense of peace that maybe you don't feel any, any, at any other time or in any other way. If you've got a lot going on, I'd highly recommend getting a, like a, a um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'll grab the word out of the ether. <laughs> um, a course of, that's, that's the one, a course of sessions, of energy healing sessions to support your energy system and to help you through whatever it is that you've got going on in your life. I highly recommend having a course. One-off sessions are fantastic. And I've got lots of clients who have one-off sessions here and there. But having done a lot more now with a, like a course of sessions, I'm seeing the way that people's whole demeanor and be way of being how it all changes how they f look different sound different come in to see me with like a completely different energy about them and that's that's the power of consistent practice and ultimately the best thing you can do is allow yourself to be open to that that life force energy for yourself learn for yourself how to tap into that energy so that you're receiving the best from life force energy source energy creative energy universal source at, at any at any time and that is 
so powerful you have the power i'm not special because i can channel energy any single one any single as i've said any single being on the planet can channel that energy on this planet or any other planet can channel that energy for themselves and that's that's the wonder and the magic and the beauty of it and if you would like to book yourself a one-off session you can do that down below and if you'd like to join me for a like a course of sessions then i'll also drop those links down below as well and um, but lots of people like to just sample sample what it's like first uh, but i do highly recommend even if you've done that having a course of sessions to just to feel the the yeah the nurturing and how that's how that feels and i'll also put some information about teaching because you can come and learn with me too whether you're local to me in west yorkshire in the uk or whether you are not if you're on the other side of the world come and learn all about energy healing with me and watch your life change and i'll see you all again very soon